everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And what we're going to be doing, we are going to be making 10 in order to subtract, to find a difference. So as you can see here, I have 12 minus 4. So looking at this problem a little bit more, 12 is my whole piece. So that's what I'm showing you visually here. So I have 10 and 2 more. That gives me my 12. 4 is that part. I want to pull that part away from 12 in order to find what my difference is going to be, okay? I have to find that other part. So to make a 10, we have to kind of break it down in two ways. So what I'm going to do is really in actuality, I want to get from 4 and count on to 12. But in order for me to do that, I'm breaking it down into two steps. First step is I want to see how many hops to get from 4 to 10. That's essentially making that 10. And then we're going to move on from there. So let's start. Let's think about that for a minute. So 4 plus what number is going to give me 10? Think about those combinations of 10, those facts that you need to master. Hmm. Are you thinking? Do you already know what it is? 4 plus six is going to give you 10. So what I'm going to do now, this is part one. I'm going to take and flip six of them over to yellow. I'm not done yet because now I'm at 10 here. Four plus six gave me 10. So now I have to go from 10 and add two more. Remember, I want to get to that hole, that 12. So 10 plus how many more is going to give you 12? Hmm. You should know. Adding anything to a 10 is pretty easy. Two. So that means now I'm going to flip over one, two more. So now anything in yellow should be the difference I'm looking for. So look at what I needed to do, how I counted on. Four plus six more gave me 10. Notice how I put that in blue. 10 plus two equals 12. So think about it, six plus two, what's six plus two? Six, seven, eight. So I wonder if I have eight over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what that's saying is, 12 minus 4 equals 8. That's my difference. So maybe for the folks out there that might be, I don't know. Maybe we need to figure that out in another way. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip everything back over, and I'm just going to prove to you that 12 minus 4 equals 8. Let's just do it the traditional way. Let's go really back to basics. 12, take away 1. Two, three, four. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is, eight. Now, maybe what happens if I wanted to? Count back. I'm going to put 12 in my brain. Count back four. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So there it is. So really, there's so many different ways that you can subtract, so many strategies. But the cool thing about making that 10, it just gives you a little bit of an added bonus of a strategy just in case other strategies are not available. Okay, so maybe you might not have a 100 chart available. Maybe you might not have that number line. Maybe you might not have a 20 frame like this. You might have a pencil and paper. So this might be a good tip that you can use. All right, boys and girls, I hope you liked our little tutorial about making a 10 in order to subtract. And I always encourage you to try to practice at home. And until I see you again, have a great day, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye, everyone.